Hey guys, it's Becky here at Aunt Bex Creations, and we came down to the house today, and I found a package from Charlisa, and there's Piper, um, and I, Lisa, I need to send you our new address. They forwarded it to our house, because we, you know, that's the forwarding address we gave them, but I will give you the address to the cottage, um, when I get back to the house, or maybe later tonight, I can message you. I brought my computer down. But this is from her, and it's a thank you card, and I'm probably way too close. It says, hope all is well. Thank you for supporting my channel. If you need anything, let me know. Hugs and blessings, Lisa from Charlisa's Crafty Corner. So that, and then she sent me this little thank you uh, pouch. And I don't know how well it's showing because I'm on the dining room table. And look, it's little little three by three cards. These are so cute. Hopefully they're showing. I love these little little ones that you can tuck in with just a little gift. And yes, you're seeing band-aids on both thumbs because my thumbs have split on the corners on all sides. So yeah, the, it's not been conducive to crafting the last couple days because it's been extremely painful. And some hello cards. These are awesome. And I love the little um, the little pouch that she made. It's got like a little box that these fit down in. Like so. And then this folds up and then down. Isn't that cute? So thank you so much, Lisa. And like I said, I will um, I will get my new address to you as soon as possible, okay? And thank you again. Bye-bye, guys. All right. You can open it now. Oh, okay. I'm trying to videotape it. It's a mixer. Ooh, a kitchen mixer, yeah, because somebody. Every house has mixer. Yeah, I had to open this one because I noticed that there were handles on it. That's what I wanted to open. You were like, what on earth? The hell do they get rid of these handles? Were you curious about the weight of it? Like, oh my gosh, that's heavy. Oh no, well, no, I didn't want to weigh it. I was like, let me wait until it's time to open. I am very curious. So Stop that. Getting from my skin. That, that's all I'm getting. <laughs> Get to work, you filthy swine. Fix us up there. What do you think of the color? Gunmetal gray? Yeah. yeah. I like it. I wouldn't mind race car red or, or what is it, uh, tapioca yellow. Ooh, I thought that was disgusting. <laughs> I love those retro colors. I should have known, but I thought that one looked kind of more manly. <laughs> the one thing is, is the attachment hub. I know that you can attach things to that, and I think, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, you can do sausage making with this. We have that attachment. Oh. I have all of the attachments. She is so jealous because we're getting all your attention now. <laughs> so you like it okay? Yeah, I like it. Is it. And it looks almost like the same one that she got in there. Well, it says Classic Plus, so. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. All right. I'm going to quit videotaping you now. <laughs> okay. Now do what the cat did again. <laughs> <laughs> so rapid presents. <laughs> it's like Susan cut a piece of paper. <laughs> She's trying to bite the tape. He's talking about his cat, Piper, but that's not what you did earlier. You were... <laughs> do <it. laughs> that's what she does. That's what she does. As soon as you cut one off. <laughs> I have to beep that one. What are you doing? Eating tape. You weirdo. Piper, you a weirdo. It's like, okay, this is nice. You gonna get it, Piper? Just... 
Look at that tail. <laughs> that tail. She's not spoiled. Why don't you hold your shirt up? Last one. Oh, the, the rat's ass? <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. <laughs> I wonder where Greg gets his sense of humor from. I don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Dad just loved the Ren and Stimpy adult entertainment show hour. <laughs> He's like, look, look what I'm going to do to Stimpy. <laughs> <laughs> What you got, Piper? It's all like pucker. What you do? This is a grass hog, but. Hey guys, my son got me some bath bombs for Christmas, and we did Christmas exchange with him this week. Um, since we won't be going down uh, next weekend, and he may still come up here to get a break from down there, so. We could have waited and exchanged gifts, but we decided to do it this weekend. But anyway, I wanted to tell you about these bath bombs. This is called an earth bomb. Um, he got me a variety of different kinds, and it says it has an ocean creature inside. But I wanted to tell you about these because I've never used these before, but I was intrigued. These are made by a couple teenage girls and they're called the bomb bath fizzers created by a pair of teenage sisterpreneurs handmade in the united states and then read our story at the bomb fizzers.com see if i can get that see there the bomb fizzers.com all right so i'm going to pause this and then we'll drop it in and see what happens Okay, here we go. And Greg said, Mom, hang on to the containers because you can reuse them and make your own bath bombs if you want to because there's a whole bunch of different um, instructions on the internet. So thanks, Greg. And so we're going to drop it in. And we'll watch it for a little bit and see what happens. So cool. Smells good. This one was called Earth Bomb, a sea breeze bath fizzer. Ooh, it's turning the water a beautiful blue green. I love to listen to it. Listen. But they have all sorts of um, scents and things hidden inside. And one of the ones Greg got me has got a ring inside. So. That'll be interesting to see what that turns out to be. All right, we're going to just let it fizz and I'll come back and show you the creature. All right, the little creature's appearing. Let's just see if I can. I think it's a dolphin. It's a dolphin. Isn't it? Or is it a shark? Dun 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 dun. <laughs> it is a sea creature. A little fish like thing. That's what was inside the bath fizzer. Isn't that neat? 
That would be fun. <laughs> All right, I'll let you guys go. I'm gonna take my bath. Hmm.